my channel. Today's video, we're going to be sharing our engagement story with you guys because I just feel like you're welcome. <laughs> we showed our engagement and stuff, but we never like sat down and told the whole story. And there's a lot that went to it more than you guys even saw. So we thought it'd be fun to sit down and just like tell you guys the story of our engagement. Me mostly, right? Yeah, you mostly. Just me, really. Yeah, I cannot believe that we're engaged still. I feel like we've been talking about this moment for like forever and now that it's here so more than others <laughs> it just like feels so weird that like we're actually in it now you know what yeah. i mean and like doing the wedding planning and like we jumped right in so it was literally like the day after you proposed i was like okay oh, yeah, i need yeah. a wedding planner like i was like yeah. ready to go so in may i had uh started thinking about getting a ring but i was so busy with work i didn't know when i was going to be able to fit it all into my schedule to do it but i had to get the ring from her mom, which I did, which was hard because she's so nosy. No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> don't even try to defend yourself because everybody that no. I've told this story to says you're nosy. Brooke, no. Jesse, your mom, your dad, your brother, my whole family, you're nosy. Hey, listen, they don't understand what that means. For those of you who don't know, I haven't said this anywhere. The diamond for my ring is actually my oh. mom's diamond from her engagement wedding ring let me see if i can show you guys an up close there's kind of an up close of my ring so yeah that's the diamond i had to get from her mom yeah we'll talk a little bit more about like the actual ring after we talk about the proposal but i just wanted to like clarify that that the actual diamond is from my mom's ring hence the reason he had to get the diamond from my mom so then i had to take it to my sister's aunt who is a jeweler and she basically took it from there i gave her a few ideas from the many ideas she sent me I don't of remember the doing band. that. Anyway, I don't Go through your Instagram DMs to me. They're there. Like you. Brooke even said she saw them, okay? <laughs> okay. So don't lie. I don't remember sending you that. So many. then I gave her some ideas, and then she ended up sending me back like an email folder full of uh, ideas and prices. And I picked one pretty fast, and my sister liked it, and so did my mom. So I was like, yep, that's the one I want. It took a while for the ring to get done, but I was working the whole time. So I didn't really think about it that much, I'm not gonna lie. She probably doesn't wanna hear that, but I, I don't know, it just was out of mind, cause you know, I didn't have the ring right away. So then I ended up, I I never actually got to see the ring until the day of, because <laughs> this nosy little lady over here. It's actually, he vlogged it. Like that was when he was like, I haven't seen the ring. Like that yeah. literally was his first yeah. time opening it. Let me say my part before we get into the proposal, proposal because the week that he did propose, <laughs> I just have to. I saw him at my dad's house. I, well, I saw his car at my dad's house. I was like, hmm, that's a little weird. And then I saw, oh, his sister asked me to go get my nails done, which like wasn't that much out of character, but like I still kind of thought, but I still didn't know. Like when, when you she know saw my car at her dad's house, her mom goes, yeah, I walked in and she's like this out the window looking at your car and her mom <laughs> knew what she was trying to do. So her mom tried to distract her, but she's, <laughs> What's he doing over I there? was trying to figure out what the heck was going on and I still did not I did not know for sure that anything uh -huh, was happening uh -huh, uh -huh. but like we've obviously talked about like getting married a lot so like of course those are those things in your mind quit it yeah that was like the two things the week of but then I guess you want to say that, the like, day of yeah the, the whole actual day yeah so the plan was my mom helped me with this plan uh, they had her and my mom went horseback riding before and my mom was like, what if I ask her and her mom to go horseback riding? Cause the whole plan, the plan the whole time was I wanted her family, her whole family to be there. And so mine too. So it was going to be her and her mom and my mom going horseback riding. And then I'd pop out at some place and I'd have like my family and her family like there with me. So. Yeah. So we started, um, it was me, my mom and his mom, obviously we like got on our little horses and we were like trotting along the little path, which I think horseback riding is like so pretty and where we got engaged is like the most beautiful place. Like it's just like such a pretty area. It's down in like Amish country. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a thing where yeah. other people are, but like in Ohio, there's like Amish yeah. country. Yeah. I mean, you just know what it is, but it's like beautiful land and like beautiful scenery. And it was so, I just loved like doing the horseback riding. So we like had barely started and we like rounded the corner. And then I just like saw something out of my, out of the corner of my eye and then there he comes with his little rose. I was probably gonna cry, but then <laughs> I, I stuck my hand out for her to grab it and she goes, 
I don't know how to get down. And then I laughed and there's no way I was going to cry at all. I literally could not. I'm like, everybody's just looking at me. Like my dad came out, my brother came out, the owner of the place came out because they had like planned this whole thing. Eddie's sister was there. Obviously like both of our families were all there. And except for my dad, except for your dad. <laughs> but, um, and then of course I'm like stuck on the horse. I'm like, I can't, I literally can't get down. I don't know what to do. So I just like sat up there for a minute. Okay. And then I brought her on the horse and then I handed her the rose and then Wait, I... you have to tell the story about the rose because it's so, like it's cute when you know the reason that you did like So my sister rose. was asking if I wanted to get a rose for her and I was like, yeah, but let's just do one because it's like the bachelor or whatever. <laughs> so I just think that's so cute because I'm like obsessed with that. And it was like it, and like I love the like single rose. I just think it's really cute. It's like the forever rose, you know? And then uh I got down and I said my stuff and then short simple to the yeah. point it was very like short sweet to the point so, oh sorry. this is where i guess so so no, no 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 nope. it was cute i'm just saying it was like short, so then sweet to the i point. stood up and i was trying to hand her the ring like in the box and she was just looking at it <laughs> and then she handed me back the rose and expected me to get have the rose and the box and the ring and then put it on her finger but when i put it on her finger what yeah. happened? <laughs> he couldn't get it on, but I like had another ring that I used to wear, and he couldn't get that ring on either. Like because she to... liked to practice me putting in the rings on her finger. <laughs> I okay. did not. When did we ever do that? All the time. No, we didn't. You yeah. proposed to me with <laughs> with a, like a ring from before. Propo I could be proposing. <laughs> I so don't think that I did that. I couldn't get it on then, and then I couldn't get it on now. I was no. like, oh, well, I just don't know what I'm doing. No, listen, so here's the thing. He has tr trouble getting that on, so like, I can normally get it on. So when he struggled to get this That's ring on. That's what I just said, yeah. I was like, I'll do it. Like, just give me the ring. And then I'll she's like, on. and then she looks over at her family. I can't get it on. <laughs> we cut all of this out of like the cute short little vlog. Um... We might put like a longer version of, of the footage that we have. I still don't know. It might be up before this, might be up after it. Tell but them you can why. See it because Tell them why it didn't fit. It didn't fit. Please let me know if this has happened to anybody else where the ring doesn't fit and it's too small, not too big. <laughs> because it's literally like exactly what would happen to us and it's so funny now. It was not funny at the moment. Well, actually, it was kind of yeah, funny then. Funny. It was the next day, which we'll get into, but. I told him because I thought Pandora, which we need to go to Pandora to find out. My ring that I used to have was from Pandora and they told me that it was a four and a half. So I always said to him, I'm like a four and a half. I'm a five and a half. So that ring was a whole size too small. It would not go above my knuckles. And so she kept trying to jam it on there. <laughs> my finger hurts so bad the next day. But all of the pictures that we have from that night are of it like this. Like halfway on my finger because we could not get it on all the way. <laughs> And it's just like really funny, but yeah, and then the lady was like Okay, you want to continue on your horseback ride or like do you want to go with your new fiance? I was like Kind of want to go with him. <laughs> like so we like all got off the horses Because I just like wanted to be with our families and it was so special I seriously wish I could like relive that moment a million times over again I loved every single second of it and the fact that our families were both there like I could not have asked for anything Better that is exactly what I would have wanted was for my family to be there like it, they're so special to me And I'm so glad that they were able to be there. I cried. I didn't cry at first I was just like looked like a little kid if you guys watch the video of our engagement I'll link it in the cards in case you haven't seen it, but I'm literally like <laughs> Like a little kid just like so excited and then I think I like go to hug all of my family and I think that's when like I just looked at you and then I just lost yeah. it and I like walked back over to you because I was just bawling and then she cries because she looks at her dad then yeah then I look yeah. at my dad and then my brother was crying and I like started crying <laughs> again because it was just like everybody oh, he's not gonna be happy yeah. <laughs> yeah he was like can you uh cut that out that I uh cried I was like mm-mm <laughs> but like it really is such a sentimental moment. Like you never know how you're gonna react. Oh uh, yeah, it is. I know what I'm just mean? saying. Like I just like cried like a baby because I was like, oh my god, like I'm really doing this thing. We're like really gonna get married, and it's just like so special. And like just the moment itself was like so special and surreal. And then we went to a little winery with my parents, mm -hmm, with his family that night. It was like such a good night. I just loved everything about it. And then. The surprise was supposed to be the next day since the ring didn't fit we didn't really get that many pictures at the place that we got engaged so we're gonna go get engagement pictures the next day because Eddie and his sister set it up the ring was supposed to be fixed on Sunday because her aunt 
made the ring so we thought we could get it fixed long story short i went to go drop it off to get fixed and it wasn't gonna be done until like wednesday so i was out without my ring for like it was three on days. a sunday mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and I bawled like a baby because I was like, I was not ready to give up my ring. I thought I was going to get it done. I thought I was going to be able to like, I hadn't told my friends and family. I didn't tell them the night that it happened. I like was going to wait until I got my ring fixed and all this stuff. And then that didn't happen. So I was so upset. I just wanted my ring and I wanted to go get these pictures done, tell my friends and family. So that didn't happen like I thought it would happen. Like, I'm just glad to have it now. And like, we are still going to get our pictures um, actually this coming weekend, so it was all good and fine, but I was like so devastated We forgot to say something so it's like future us popping in again because we forgot like one of the most important details Sorry <laughs> He was supposed to be involved the whole time like he was kind of like the center of the idea mm -hmm. And I was gonna have him there with me and he was just gonna have the ring on that blue collar I'm sure you saw in the other video. That's why he but when about five seconds before me and my sister were about to leave to go to the horse place, she goes, oh, you can't bring him. And I was so mad the entire ride there because you're not allowed to have pets there because there's horses and mm -hmm. like guard dogs, or not guard dogs, but like. The, the owners yeah, of the, dogs. Yeah. But yeah, that's why you see him in our like short little proposal video, like getting Jasper ready. It wasn't like just for the heck of it. Like he was getting Jasper ready because Jasper was supposed to be, he there. Supposed to be there. And he had a little collar for everything, which is so Nobody special. Nobody told me he wasn't allowed. It's so special that you even thought to include him, but he's gonna come with us to get our engagement pictures done. So he'll still be there. He'll still be in our pictures and stuff. It would've been cool to have him there, but I get the reason that yeah. they couldn't. And it was still like, I could have just held him the Perfect. whole time. Perfect. I know, look, he's such a good boy. Oh, he would have liked that. So my ring itself is, I don't even know how to explain the band. It's like kind of like, I always call it like a twist, twisted type it's thing. Infinity. Infinity, no, it's not infinity, I don't it think. It is. Okay, I think it's like a twisted band and then it has these bezeled, I think is what they're called. I don't know. Bezeled diamonds. I just bought it, okay. On the side. But then I have my little marquee diamond on the, like that's like the actual diamond, which is my mom's from her engagement ring for my dad. I love it. I've always wanted like a different type of diamond. I didn't want like a circle or a square. Like I wanted something that was different and a marquee diamond is very different. Like you don't see, I feel like a lot of people that have a marquee diamond for their engagement rings. So I love it. And like the band is so perfect. I would not, I say this to everybody. I would not have picked a band like this to go with this diamond, but I absolutely adore it. Like I would, could not have picked something better myself it is so beautiful and so sparkly. Every time I look at it, I'm just like so excited. It's so pretty. I seriously love it so much and I cannot believe that we're engaged. Eddie said he feels more responsible for me now. <laughs> but it is like such an exciting time and we're like we're so happy and like we I feel like we've been spoiled. Or I guess I've been really spoiled. Yeah. Not that you haven't too, but like it just like you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for all of the love. Yeah. Seriously blown away like I could cry talking about it because they're like I'm just blown away by the amount of people that like love and support us and have sent me a message or commented or like anything like it's just so amazing thank you all so much for supporting us always no matter what and like always rooting for us and like all of our friends and family have been like yeah so great too and we're just excited to start wedding planning we've already done a little bit so Keep you guys in the loop for when we pick a date. That'll probably be the first thing, don't you think? We'll probably be deciding on a date here pretty soon. And we're just really happy. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting. I love you. You love Beyonce. Yeah, she won't stop saying that. Because it sounds so weird and sometimes I forget. Like, I just think, like, you're my boyfriend, but we're engaged. But, like, it's not. Like, you're my fiance, you know? You feel? Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for our engagement story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other wedding planning, wedding videos, engagement videos that you want to see. My channel is probably about to be like overloaded in wedding videos. Already is. Yeah. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys.